a live. Let's see. So. Yes, we are live. Sorry, I was just verifying. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, so welcome to the first live of, of the Deep Reinforcement Learning course. Um, so we're going to start in two minutes, just to wait that, you know, everyone who wants to join can join. Um, I'm super happy to do this live. Uh, this is the first one since, uh, since a long time. So, yeah. And uh, so I'm happy also to see that there is a lot of people. Um, so ju just a quick thing. Today we're going to... Uh, I'm going to present what the course will be about. And then we will have a Q&A, but in a funny way, because we're going in the same moment, uh, I'm going to play with Huggy, with some of the Huggy you trained. So for people who don't know, Huggy is um, the reinforcement learning dog that you're going to train to fetch the stick. And some of you already trained it. So we're going to try some. And yeah, please tell us where you're joining from. So that I can see a little bit. Finland, nice. Um, Switzerland. <laughs> so I'm from France. <laughs> if I, Macedonia, France, of course. Yeah, nice. Montreal. Island, nice. Egypt, Bangalore, Michigan, Argentina, Netherlands, Texas, Spain. Oh, yeah, around the world. Catalonia, India. Oh, okay. <laughs> Switzerland, too, Poland. Uh, living in South Korea, nice. USA, Latvia, Belarus. Nice. Um, so yeah, what I was saying is that um, we're going to have two parts, one for 20 minutes where I'm going to present, uh, uh, explain the course, what it will look like, what the scope, uh, what are, will be the challenges, etc. And the second part, we're going to do a small Q&A. Uh, USA, Netherlands. Okay, so let's go and just remove this manner. Okay. Um, Sri Lanka, nice. Okay, so I'm going to start uh, by uh, just, uh, as I explained, you know, the live will be in two parts. So the first will be um, a presentation of the course. Uh, so I will explain the scope, the unit, and the challenges you're going to work with. Uh, it will be approximately 20 minutes. I think it will be a little bit less, but I, 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 I put this part. And the second part will be a QA where you're going, uh, I'm going to play with some of the Huggy uh, that were trained by, by the students. And I'm going to answer some questions. Um, if we don't have time to, to answer all the, all the questions, don't hesitate uh, to join our Discord, Discord server where we have a big community where you can. Um, you can uh, participate, you can exchange with your, uh, with your classmates. So it's a, it's a very nice, uh, very nice studio. Uh, I'm just, sorry, I'm just blocking. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so as I was saying, so we have two parts. So the first part will be a presentation of the course and the second one will be a QA. and a uh, so, Jenny, as I said, we are going, I'm going to play with Huggy. So, Huggy is the uh, second uh, unit, so the unit bonus, uh, where you need to train these cute dogs to fetch a stick. And what's nice is that you can directly play in your browser. So, you don't need to install anything. Um, and uh, you can load your model directly in the browser. Uh, yeah, I will share the Discord link, sorry. Here it's at the yeah you have the Discord link uh, at the bottom of the screen. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned, we have a Discord server. So the Discord is a central place where you can uh, exchange with your classmates. Uh, you can ask questions. You can study together, and it's also the place where we give the last update information. So yeah, to join is very simple. It's hf.co/slash/slash/join/slash/discord. Um, 
And then uh, the second thing I wanted to mention before explaining the course, uh, it's uh, in the Discord we build study group base where you live. So this way it's it's easier for you because you can exchange with people who are in closed time zones, but obviously you can participate in every group uh, if you want. Um, and the second part, uh, so yes, the video will be recorded. Uh, second part is um, the mail. So if you signed up to the course, we got your mail. Uh, if it's not the case, the link is here, but the link is also on the, um, the deep reinforcement learning course on unit zero. Uh, it's important that you sign up because we are going to give you information also by mail. So it's to keep you updated. And if so, we send you a mail two days ago. And if you didn't receive it first, please check your spam fol folder because it might be in the spam folder. And if it's not the case, you can send me a DM on Discord so, can I, uh, so that I can verify uh, if you are on your list. Uh, so yeah, again, the course is uh, in, this, uh, in this address. And so now I can speak a little bit about what we are, doing, what we are going to do during this course. Um, so you're going to study deep reinforcement learning in theory and practice. So theory, because you're going to learn the theory behind uh, the algorithm you're going to study, so how they work, mathematically speaking, because it's very important uh, to understand, you know, how it works behind the hood. But also a lot of practice, because in every unit you have hands-on, where you train agents. Uh, you're going to learn to use famous deep reinforcement learning library, which is something very important when you do reinforcement learning. So you're going to learn about uh, stable baseline free, you're going to learn about uh, RL baseline zoo, sample factory, clean RL, but you're also going to learn to make your own uh, agent by hand, so coding with PyTorch, for instance. So we're going to do that with Q-learning, uh, we're going to do that with policy gradients and PPO, so which are three different architecture. Um, and uh, then after that, you're going to train agents in unique environment. So unique environments means we, we, we created some funny environments, such for instance, Fuggy, uh, but there is others uh, environment you're going to train your agent on. For instance, MineRL, which is a Minecraft uh, environment, uh, VisDoom, which is a Doom version, uh, open source Doom version. So Doom is uh, first pers person shooters, very famous one, um, but also ML agent environments. So which are environments created with Unity, which is a game engine. Uh, you're going to learn about that uh, in Unit 5. So we really wanted to make something nice, you know. Uh, you're also using classical environment, what we call classical environment in reinforcement learning. So for instance, um, uh, gym environments, Atari environments. Um, so yeah, so this is some of the environments you're going to train your agent on. So at the top right, it's a snowball fight. It's a game we created. Uh, at the bottom uh, right, you have Doom. Uh, you see Minecraft, you see Space Invaders. Uh, you see Huggy, and there is much more environments. I didn't put everyone, every every environment. And yeah, something very interesting is that you can share your train agent with one line of, of code to the hub, so to the Huggy Face Hub, and also download powerful agent from the community. So what's nice is that on the Hugging Face Hub, you can push your model, your train models. Uh, think of Hugging Face Hub as the GitHub for your train models. And um, this way, you can visualize your agent playing with a video, as we see on this screenshot. And you have information about your agent on, on the left. And what's nice is that you can push your model, but you can also load very powerful model. For instance, this one was created by Stable Baseline Free uh, community. So people who created Stable Baseline Free, so they are very, uh, very good models that you can load in one line of code. And it's something you learn in the unit one but we're going to learn for every unit because what's nice is that every reinforcement li learning library that you're going to, to study uh, have integration with Hugging Face Hub. It means that for every, every of this library, you will be able to push uh, the model on the hub and hence you will be able to share it very easily and for free. Um, and the final one, which is I think one of the most interesting is that you will participate in challenges where you will evaluate your agents against uh, over, um, over agents and against over team. So it's something you will, you will know more a little bit in January, but I want to explain a little bit. Uh, there is two types of challenges. The first that if you start the, the course you already saw, it's uh, who gets the best course. So it's, it's a challenge for fun, this one, because it's, uh, you have a leaderboard 
where when you push your model to the hub, you, we created a leaderboard where you can see what is your rank with your classmates. And what's nice is that if you click on Hanover uh, classmates, you can see uh, you know the score. And what's nice with that is uh, you can you know see the hyperparameters that were used so that you know you can improve your own agent. Um, I'm just looking. Are uh, these agents unity agents? So some of the agents are unity agents, for instance, Snowball Fight, that I'm going to talk just after. Um, but not all. Uh, so and the second part that is very interesting, and I'm very excited to 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 speak about this one, but you will have more information in January. It's the AI versus AI. So the idea is that we created a multi-agent environment, for instance, Snowball Fight, where you will be going to train your own agent, and then you will compete with other classmates. So you will load your agent. You will load the classmate agent, and you will see who will, who will win. And so you, we are going to have a leaderboard. Um, I will not dive too much on that for now because uh, we're working on that, and we want to uh, to show you that later. But I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek on that. Um, so it's a good way to learn. Uh, these challenges are a good way, good way to learn. Um, the leaderboard for for um, for the models are more something for fun. So. Uh, don't, don't don't be disappointed if you have a, uh, a low score or low rank. Um, I think the, the mindset to have here is to think how you can improve and ask your classmates what they've done so that you can learn from them. Uh, yeah, so this is one of the examples. So this is Noble Fight, which is one of the... Uh, so this version is a beta version, but it's one of the environments we created, and you're going to, uh, to challenge your classmate uh, with your AI. So I'm just going to, to speak a little, little bit about uh, what will be the two first uh, environments uh, that you're going to work on. So if you go to the course, uh, you have uh, the first one is um, Lunar Lander. So it's the first uh, agent you're going to train. So as you can see in Lunar Lander, you, you train a Lunar Lander agent that needs to learn to learn on the moon. And to do that, it needs to learn to activate different engines to not crash. So this is what you do on the first unit. And on, on, on the unit bonus, uh, that I mentioned before, uh, you're going to train Huggy the Dogo. So uh, the dog, it's Dogo here also. But uh, to fetch the stick and play with him in, on your browser. Uh, some of you already done it. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, um, it's very nice. We have already very nice Huggy. Um, is this YouTube only on our Zoom class? So we, um, yeah, it's something I forgot to mention. So if you go, let me share my screen. Uh, share this now. Yeah. So if you go on, um, yeah, so it works. If you go uh, on the course, so hugging uh, hf.co slash deep error course, um, it's where the course is. You have uh, for now uh, the unit one bonus unit um, and unit zero, and um, you have uh, so subsection. You know, with uh, we we made very nice uh, you know illustration etc. And you have the end zone. So end zone is here. And what's nice is that for the first end zone we have a video if you prefer because some people want to dive directly on Google Collab, but you can direct you can also uh, follow with the video. Uh, we, we will have a video for every uh, hands-on. Uh, and we will have, as I mentioned, we are, will have these slides, which will be more Q&A and exchange with the community. Uh, we aim to do that one every week. Um, so if I go back here. So again, the course is on hf.co slash deeparel course. Um, and yeah, so what I wanted to mention now is that there is two paths of this course. Uh, obviously, this course is totally free. I repeat it, it's totally free. Um, you can either just participate as a simple audit, so you can do the challenge, assignments, uh, but you will not have any deadlines. Um, or you can, be, uh, you can want to get a certificate of completion. So in that case, you need to complete 80% of the assignments. So it means you need to do 80% of the end zone uh, before the end of March. Uh, whatever the path you choose to take, uh, we, re we recommend you to follow uh, the recommended pace that I'm going to show you after to enjoy you know, the challenge at the same time that everyone and to, to get the most of the course with your classmate. Um, so this is a recommended pace of the course. Uh, so it's, it's obviously it's just an advice. 
uh, you can you can you can handle whenever uh, as you want but um we so this is the first unit so the unit one introduction to deep reinforcement learning where you learn you know the basics of deep reinforcement learning the bonus unit it's the one you train early introduction to q learning will be published next week uh, you're going to learn your first reinforcement learning algorithm called q learning which is a value-based uh, reinforcement learning algorithm uh, then you're going to learn about deep Q learning, which is uh, Q learning on steroids. Uh, it's a version that uses a uh, deep neural network uh, to estimate the Q value, uh, and it's it's a very famous um, it's a very famous uh, algorithm because it was the first one that shows the power of using deep reinforcement le uh, reinforcement learning and deep learning uh, together. Uh, then we're going to have an hyperparameter search with Optuna unit. So. What's very hard when you do deep reinforcement learning is to find a good set of hyperparameters. Fortunately for us, there is some libraries that can do the hyperparameter search. And so you're going to learn about it. It's a very powerful library. And then uh, we're going to have a very interesting unit about ML agents. So ML agent is, uh, is a library based on Unity. So for people who don't know, Unity is a game engine where you can create very powerful game. There is a lot of famous game ma made with Unity. But what's nice is that now you can create deep reinforcement learning environment with Unity. So in introduction to ML agent, we're going to learn how to train agent uh, with, uh, with Unity. And there we also provide some uh, additional readings on how you can create your own environment. Uh, but keep in mind that if you want to create your own environment, you will need to learn to use Unity. But uh, we will give you, you know, some additional resources such as uh, because Unity provide a lot of free courses to, to learn to create games with, uh, with their engine. And then we will have the interesting part, the most interesting part, I would say every part is interesting, but this one I think is the most exciting one. It's the introduction to multi-agent. It means how you can have multiple agents that either compete against each other or collaborate. And uh, you're going to uh, train your agent in a lot of uh, multi-agent environment that we created. And it's where the challenge AI versus AI uh, will start. Um, then we, you're going to learn about policy gradients, which is a policy-based method that is very important to understand in order to understand the state of the art reinforcement learning algorithm. Uh, uh, after that, we're going to learn about actor critic uh, methods uh, with Doom. Uh, don't worry if you don't understand the term for now. It's, um, you, it's, uh, we're, you're going to, to understand it more and more as you go further in the course. But actor critic is a hybrid method between a value-based uh, reinforcement learning algorithm and a policy-based reinforcement learning algorithm. And you're going to train it on a Doom game. Uh, and finally, on unit eight, we're going to learn about one of the state-of-the-art algorithm, uh, generalist algorithm called PPO, Proximal Policy Optimization. And we're going to have a bonus unit where we're going to talk about uh, offline reinforcement learning, decision transformer. So it's the use of transformer model uh, to create reinforcement, deep reinforcement learning agents. Uh, we're also going to talk uh, all about you know, uh, human feedback, uh, training you know, language model with human feedback. And about that, we're going to have next week, uh, normally on Tuesday, but we will give you more information uh, uh, soon uh, about that, but we are going to have a live where we're going to talk about reinforcement learning from human feedback, which is the technology that was used to train ChatGPT. So I, I think a lot of people of a lot of people already heard about ChatGPT. So yeah, we're going to talk about that next week. Um, we're going to give you the the link and etc on the Discord, and we're going to send you uh, on the mail. But I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek about that. Uh, to submit assignments, sorry, yeah, I just saw the question. Uh, yeah, you just need to publish the model to Hugging Face. So when you finish the collab, you push the model to the hub. Yeah, we're going, yeah, next week, uh, we're going to have a, 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 um, sorry, a live about uh, this technology. So, yeah. Um, I wanted to have some, uh, just to mention some best practices. So the first is, uh, you should join uh, the study groups in Discord. Um, to be honest, I, when I started to study deep reinforcement learning in 2018, I done it like alone, and it was really not a good idea. Reinforcement learning is super interesting, but interesting, but um, it's sometimes a little bit complex. So working with other people, it's very nice. And so as I mentioned, we created study groups based on uh, where you live, 
it's it's more because this way you can uh, you know be in the same close time zone with other people, but obviously you can um, you can you know work in any group you want. Um, yeah, so is it considered submitted even if your agent is not on the top of the leaderboard? So what we want is that we want to the, your agent to have a certain uh, score. So for instance, for Lunar Lander, it's 200. Uh, no, you don't need to be on the top of the board because there is so much models. It's uh, It will not make sense because you know uh, only a few people will get the certificate. Our idea is just that you succeed to get a certain good score. And we are going to, um, to put the score of every unit you need to attend in order uh, to pass uh, the, the certification process. The second thing is do the quiz and assignment uh, because you know we have something called uh, I talk a lot about that but we have something called you know illusion of competence is when you think you you, you learn something but um, if you test yourself you will discover that no. So what we do is that during the course we have some quizzes that are uh, optional quizzes you know that don't count for for the certification but they are very good to to verify that you know. You you master the you master you know, the the the, uh, the notion, and so yeah, I, I would strongly advise you to do the assignment and to do the assignment without the solution first. And you know, it's it's very normal in the beginning to to have some bugs and to have some things like that. And I still have a lot of bugs, so it's very normal in in, in the whole life, lifetime. So don't hesitate, you know, to um, after you finish the hands on, you know, to try with another environment to uh, don't hesitate to ask, you know, on Discord if some people try over environment, what environment you can use, what type of parameters you can use, if you can use another model, etc. Um, how do you see the group on Discord? So you need to go to Discord uh, to sign up to the Discord uh, server. And uh, you need to, um, uh, um, there is something called a role assignment, a channel called role assignment, and you need to click on deep reinforcement learning. And this way you sign up to the deep reinforcement learning channels. Um, so this is the way that you can access this. So the course will be taught, uh, taught uh, so using most of the library, our PyTorch library. We are going to, when you will code from scratch some of the uh, agent, it will be with PyTorch. But obviously, we give uh, some additional resources. So if you want, for instance, to, to, to code your own with TensorFlow, we, we provide some additional resources um, on that. But the course is mostly focused on PyTorch. We're going to talk also a little bit on um, on the, on JAX, you know, because there is a lot of, of things going on with JAX. But we will not have some hands on on that. But we'll provide um, uh, some some additional resources so that you can go further. Um, and the last one is, as I said, you know, define a schedule to stay in sync. Um, this way, you know, you will not finish everything one week before uh, before the deadline. Uh, the tools you need, we wanted that to, to be to so that the, the most people can, can can participate in the course. So you just need to have a computer, a Google Collab, a Google Collab account, which the free version is, is enough for what we want to do. Um, can we use physical simulation like PyBullet? Yeah, uh, yeah, we will have one of the units where we also have PyBullet uh, environment. So for people who don't know what PyBullet is, it's like uh, Mojoko. So it's environment where you, a physical environment, for instance, you train um, um, like, like a pair of legs to walk. Uh, you train uh, some weird robots to walk or to, to, to jump or to do that kind of thing. And you need a hugging face account. Uh, so if you don't have an account yet, you will need one, and it's free. It's totally free. You don't need to pay anything uh, for this course. Uh, so yeah. Um, so from from this this thing, uh, it's a Q and A time. Um, so the idea is that if you have some question about the course, about the content, about whatever you want, uh, I will reply them. If uh, it's out of the scope or I can't answer because maybe I can't answer everything, don't hesitate also to go to the Discord uh, community and to exchange uh, because uh, there is a lot of exchange in there and there you will find the solution of your, um, the answer of your question. And what I'm going to do during this um, end on to be a little bit funnier is that I'm going to play with some of the Huggy. Uh, so if you train some Huggy, please tell me the name of your model so that I can load it. Uh, I'm just share this tab instead. See correctly. Yeah, I will let on this uh, size. Sorry, it's because I need to see on the right hand, you know, the, the question. Um, 
uh, you give an approximate hours per week. Uh, so first, let me. Uh, so when you're going to to train your huggy and you're going to push to the hub, after that you will be able to load your model. So yeah, so we're going to improve the UI for that, but you need to scroll to find yours. So for instance, let's take this one, and you have different models. So the model, the best model is this one, huggy dot but if you want to play, for instance, with the older, because what's going to happen is that at every 500 time steps of training, you're, you will save uh, a, a version of the model. Uh, turn off the sound. Sorry, do you hear the sound of the of the game? Wait. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, mm -mm. Ah, why we still share it? Wait. Okay, I thought there was no sound on this thing. We can share it, yeah. I uh, know. And at the pass, it is. Right click. Yeah, but it, I think it does not want to hear the sound. Yeah, stop sharing. Wait. Uh, the sound. By clicking on the tab, press mute. Yeah, but the right click does not work because it's a yeah, it's a web shell. Um, I'm sorry for that. I thought that yeah, the sound because I cut on my was. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Let let uh, we, we start to answer a question and we'll try to find a solution. So, um, could you give an approximate hours per week we should dedicate uh, uh, for the course? Um, so uh, it really depends on 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 the um, on the. On, on, on the unit because some units will take less time but most of the time it will be two hours per unit but some will take a little bit more of time uh, again don't hesitate to um, to um, uh, to to create your own schedules because we let more time when we publish the last unit you will still have one month and a half to finish uh, to finish uh, the course so it we will we put every we will put every week home, uh, what what will be the estimated time uh, make just increase the mic volume and then decrease the master volume. Yeah, but the master volume is cut. Oh, no, I know why. Okay, I think I know why. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's start. Let's try again. And maybe this time it will work. Yeah. Share screen. It's the window. Okay. Do you have a partnership with Volta? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I don't know what for ML it's, um, but yeah, I, I can check. Um, I just know what, I don't know this library. So do you, uh, do, 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 do you see, sorry for the, okay, yes, money, you can see. Uh, is this time there is the, the Music or not? Okay. So I suppose there is okay the music. Uh, perfect. Um, so I try to go back. We can hear it. I suggest to add summary page algorithm name, which area we can use model based. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Um, if you want to, ah, perfect. So I'm going to load this one first, then I will load Omar one. Don't hesitate to, to give me the name of your model so that I can load it. So just to show you, in this game, you throw the stick <laughs> to a git. So this one is quite well trained. So long story short, he needs to learn to use his legs, uh, you know, to move his legs one by one, you know, to know uh, to move correctly. And he must avoid to spin too much. Uh, so for you, the question about, you know, the summary of a model, what we can do with the model, uh, the state space we can use, for instance, if we can use for continuous action space, et cetera. Um, uh, yeah, that's a very good idea. And if you want, again, 
uh, what I forgot to mention is that this course is um, it's an open source course where people can participate. So if you have some ideas like that, you can first open your issue. Or if you already, you know, create a fork of uh, of uh, the of the deep RL class or the, of deep RL course. Uh, the, the name of the repo is called DeepRL class. Uh, again, face slash DeepRL class. Uh, you can you can uh, collaborate. You can, for instance, this idea of you know adding information about the model is very interesting. So don't hesitate. Um, if you need help uh, to create the PR, don't hesitate to to reach us. Uh, we can help on that. Um, okay. Let me see. Okay, we try Dari Paez. Okay, so let me. Go back to the new new load. It's not, it's not on the on the alphabetic side, so it's ah yeah. Let's try. So, so there is one from Di, uh, Dario Paez, and let's see. Oh, it's good. Uh, what's your? Let me see what. Let me check. Their parameters value dependent on the environment on the earth. Is the intuition of, uh, let me show you the, the question. So is the intuition to develop about hyperparameter parameters values is dependent on the environment or so the reinforced learning algorithm use? Uh, it's both. Um, for instance, um, let, let, let me take a simple example. If you have, for instance, a game like uh, Age of Empire, where the long-term reward is very important because you need to have a long-term strategy. In that case, you need to have um, you need to have a large gamma, a large discount rate, so that you know uh, you uh, you will have um, you will um, uh, uh, you you will be able you know to have an agent that will focus on the long uh, long term. So you will have some uh, uh, parameters who will be for the model itself. For instance, uh, the number of layers, the number of, of, of uh, um, if you use a CN, a convolutional neural network, if you have as a state the frame, or if you have as a state vector, for instance, you use the multi-layer perceptron. Um, so it's for both. You you have uh, the parameter are for both for environment and for the model. Something important to consider is that some models, uh, some some um, some algorithms you can't use with some environment. For instance, if you have a continuous action space, you can't use q learning. So uh, uh, you will send the next unit why you can't do that. But uh, yeah, it's very um, um, depends on the environment. The, cho the, cho the choice of uh, the reinforcement learning algorithm is what you want to do with this algorithm and, and uh, what environment do you have. So now, if you have the best parameter for, for uh, a lander, it doesn't mean you can apply to another environment. So, most of the time, is the problem is the same environment is quite the same problem with sense action space. Uh, you can use the same uh, hyperparameters, uh, but if no, it's very different. No, you need to have an hyperparameter, different hyperparameter search. Is what we're learning in this course similar to what OpenAI might use for creating ChatGPT? So what I mentioned uh, is that you we're going to have a live next week about this question because. If you don't know, ChatGPT use what we call um, um, a reinforcement learning from human feedback. And uh, it's a technology where you, you train your language model with some human feedback, like if it was good, not, etc. And so it uses reinforcement learning to train it. And we're going to have a live about that. And in the last unit of the course, we're going to have some resources about uh, this subject. So do we have a calendar with the class schedule? Uh, yes, uh, we have the calendar in the recommended. If you check on the recommended um, uh, on, on unit zero in recommended um, timeline, uh, the recommended timeline is always when when the uh, it doesn't want to give, to give me back the stick. Uh, the timeline is when uh, the moment where we put in the recommended uh, timeline is when we publish uh, the article. So we publish. Uh, normally, we publish once every week. So next week, we publish Q-Learning, which is the unit two. Are any particular recommendation or reinforcement learning book except certain in part two? Um, one of, I really like, I forgot, I forgot. So we put on the additional reading. We, uh, I'm going to put it on additional readings. But uh, it's the one, uh, Groking. Uh, so the editor is Groking. And uh, it's a, if you have reinforcement learning Groking, you can find it. 
it's a very nice one. Um, to, to be honest, it really helped me for some of the concepts that I maybe sometimes hard to, to understand. I think it's Sutton and Barto is really the Bible of, of reinforcement learning, and it's totally free. If you go to Sutton and Barto reinforcement learning, you'll find it. But I think that the broken, version, the broken book is also very good, and we're going to put it on the additional readings of the course. It is okay to share your work on, on GitHub publicly as well. Work, you know. Yeah, sure, sure. You can you can clearly share uh, your work. The more, I think it's important to share your work so that you know you can um, you know um, you, you you can show to people what you do and yeah, it's always always a good uh, always a good um, a good idea. Uh, we will touch on transformer in the course. Yeah, we uh, as I mentioned on unit uh, nine, we have a part about offline reinforcement learning and decision transformer. Uh, I, I don't know if you know, but we already implemented decision transformer on uh, the transformer library at Hugging Face. Um, we have a blog post about that if you type Hugging Face blog decision transformer. Um, but we are going to dive a little bit deeper and you're going to train your own decision transformer. So for people who don't know what decision transformer is, it's uh, we use transformer, which uh, is um, is an architecture, um, uh, a deep learning architecture, uh, that is usually used to train, for instance, language model, but also uh, um, um, images, audio, etc., for a lot of things. And now we there is since two years uh, a version to train uh, to solve a reinforcement learning problem. So it's it's um, so there is debate if it's reinforcement learning or not, etc. I will not dive on this debate, but um, it's. Um, it's a very interesting topic. I think I crossed this thing too far, <laughs> and this poor dog can't, uh, <laughs> can't find it. Um, I wasn't able to render the environment to see in Collab. Yeah, you can't you can't render uh, in Collab. Uh, there is two solution. Uh, there is something called Collab Collab Gym Render, which is a library. But what you can do is when you push to the hub, it generates a video version of your agent. So you can push to the hub, see the video. If the agent is not good, you can push again to the hub because um, the models on the hub has Git based. So you can make a commit, a new commit. So um, my advice is uh, try to directly push to the hub and see the result. Uh, I've, um, or you can use Gene Collaborator, but it does not work for every environment. What are the available application combination of reinforcement learning and transformer BERT? So one of the main applications that is currently, you know, trending a lot, uh, it's ChatGPT. Um, and it's thanks to reinforcement learning that this model is able to be so good. So it's one of the applications. There is also some application in the for reinforcement learning in general, for instance, in the video game industry. Uh, because uh, there is something we're going to talk during this call called Curiosity. It's where the agent discover a new state that was unpredictable, and they use that to debug their games. For instance, they, they, they make agent play in their games, and when their agent discovers something they never saw before, most of the time it's a bug. For instance, an agent stuck on a wall, on stuck on you know stuck on a, on a part of the game it shouldn't be. So it's one of the applications, but there is. Um, if you search on the internet, we see more and more application, real-world application uh, of reinforcement learning. So yeah, do you, uh, you need a little bit of level for, of uh, PyTorch. Uh, we provide um, some resources on that. There is a PyTorch in 60 minutes that is really good from in the PyTorch official website. Uh, so yeah, I think it's important. Even though we're going to use reinforcement learning library, I think it's important that you start to study PyTorch. Um, if you already know TensorFlow, I think it will be uh, easier to, to make the transition. Uh, oh, yeah, and, uh, and yes. Yeah, so thank you. This is uh, the, the, the book I was mentioning. So it's Miguel Morales, The Reinforcement Learning. It's a very, very good book. Uh, let me have that. Okay. Can we use AWS StageMaker instead of Collab? Um, so we didn't test it, but uh, if you succeed to, to make it work, uh, you can create a PR so that you know we can add to the, li the list of, uh, of, uh, of, of product you can use uh, to train your agent. Can Blender be used in place of Unity? So Blender, as, as mentioned by, by Dev Francois, is uh, not a game engine anymore. There was, there was a part of game engine called Blender game. And unfortunately, no, but uh, we're working on a library called Simulate at Hugging Face, where you will be able to, to uh, export 
your Blender scene as GLTF and be able to run it um, in, in our simulate library. So we're going to speak a little bit about that during the whole course. And you're going to learn a little bit about this library, but you can already go to simulate. So if you go to Hugging Trace and you have Hugging Trace Simulate, you can find this library. But yeah, Blender is not a game engine, but you can create pretty things with it. Um, so we have one of our of, of my colleagues called Ed, Edward Edward that created uh, the reinforcement learning library for Kodo. Uh, it's currently working on very nice environment, so we think of adding them to the course. So you can use Godot to do reinforcement learning. If you have reinforcement learning Godot, you will find uh, it's library and it's really, really great. Uh, yeah, Blender is really modeling. Uh, Godot will be nice. This will be some of the tasks before. This is it today. There might have been somewhere in advance. Uh, so we, we try to publish in advance. Um, um, so uh, for now, we publish the first unit in advance, um, but we we're going to try to publish in advance, but you know, every unit takes a lot of time. So most of the time it will be uh, at the finish date. But um, every time we publish a new unit, we send a mail. So some of them might be in advance. But if you want to take a little bit of advance, you know, you, you're you very excited to, to learn more about the course, uh, you can check the additional link we put, uh, because we put links, you know, for the book, uh, for the different books you can read, for the videos you can watch. There is a lot of series of very good videos made by, by you know, a uh, very important professor uh, that you can watch, so that you can get the first idea of uh, what you're going to learn with this course. Um, I don't know, but you can you can ask this question for, in the Discord. Uh, we have, you know, a Discord, uh, and you can ask this question uh, to your Discord, because I'm sure that some people already tried. I'm going to, I promise, Omar, to do this one, so. <laughs> Not on this course for now, but maybe some people uh, use it. So if some people, you know, uh, convert the, 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 the collab to, uh, to SageMaker, we can, uh, you know, if they do a PR, we can put on the course. Again, this course is a collaborative one. So if there is thing you're very interested about and you want to add to the course, uh, you're more than welcome to do it. Um, so I try to search for Omar. <laughs> So I will put on my to-do list to, you know, put in alphabetic order because it will be much easier to find your model, especially because the number of models getting bigger and bigger because a lot of people uh, start to to add their models. So we're really happy with that. And oh, I need to put again because yeah, we I'm lost. I'm sorry, Ugly, I lost the stick. It's trying to eat the hands. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah, I, I, I normally there was an invisible, word, but I think there is a bug. So yeah, unfortunately, I, I threw it very, very far away. So, yeah. Um, also, uh, what I wanted to say is, yeah, don't hesitate uh, on the Discord to when you have questions, when you have things. Uh, I'm, I'm very active on the Discord, and people, there is a lot of people very active. And so yeah, don't hesitate. There is no stupid question. There is no, you know, all that kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's a friendly place, so yeah, don't hesitate. Really, I think it's it's you know it's research certain that was saying that the stupidest question is a question you don't ask. So yeah, don't hesitate to to ask question. Omar, yours is very very good too. <laughs> it's a little bit clumsy, but it's very good. And yeah, um, again, you can uh, if you type huggy uh, hugging face, so huggy h u g g y hugging face, you can find uh, the space and you can directly play online with huggy. Um, yeah, I'm just checking if you have a more question, don't hesitate. I'm just checking that I didn't forget one of the questions. Search option for repo. Uh, what search option for repository? I don't understand this one. Um, is it a repo with instruction for local installation suitable for Jupyter? So for now, we have the hands on collab. If you want to run on, on, on yours, um, you need to remove uh, its, its VFD. Uh, sorry, because every time I'm, I, I mix you know, the, the, the later. So it's a, it's a virtual screen element. You know, because on collab, you don't have a screen. 
So this kind of uh, simulator screen, you know, to, to be able to record the frame and so to create a video of your agent playing. Oh, oh it falls. <laughs> uh, so except for that, normally you can directly uh, download and load on your computer and try. Uh, because I think it's the only um, only library that you need to remove because you don't do, you need to use it. Um, yeah, again, don't hesitate to try. Uh, if you have some issue, don't hesitate to open an issue or to ask us on uh, on uh, on the Discord directly. Thanks for the tutorial. I had the chance to look today. Uh, thank you very much. Um, don't hesitate if you have feedback also, uh, even uh, you know, uh, things you want that we improve. Uh, our goal is always to improve uh, the course and to find better way to explain uh, concepts. Uh, so yeah, don't hesitate. Uh, oh, maybe I've no, it's still it's in the fence. Uh, yeah, if you play the game, uh, try to avoid to launch in too too far. Um, and um, yeah, so as I mentioned, next week we're going to to. Uh, you're going to learn about Q-learning and you're going to use two environments, one called Frozen Lake, a very famous one, and uh, Taxi V2, but V3, sorry, where in fact you will have a taxi that will need to bring someone from uh, one place to another place and find the shortest route. Um, so this is the, and on the, and the, the week after we're going to have deep Q-learning where you will train your agent to play uh, Atari games. So Space Invaders, Breakout, Pong, um, any Atari games you want. You know, the Atari VCS games, so the old, old, old one. Um, are we getting extra space for Google Collab on this task? Uh, no, the free, the free version is really enough. The free version is really enough for what we want to do for now. Uh, you don't need extra space. Just be aware that when you run GPU with Collab, you use the GPU because Google Starts to penalize people who click on, you know, lunch with GPU, but don't use the GPU. So just be aware of that. But yeah, you're really fine with Google Collab for for, for the first part of the course. And um, I run. So some someone tried to run Unit One, and it was fine. So okay, thanks for the info. It's, so yeah, it means you can run on your own computer. The other library, another version could be nice. A requirement file with all the libraries and their version could be nice. My environment breaks frequently. Frequently, normally, if you look at, um, uh, we put a link, you know, with uh, where we put all the libraries that you install. Uh, a requirement text. Something to know is that um, if you use the collab, sometimes you can have an error with, uh, you know, the, the screen uh, visualization, uh, the text screen. Um, there is some bugs, but we know that if it's happen, you just need to rerun uh, the notebook. Uh, for now, we don't have a solution for that. It's a known solution. It's a well-known solution, especially with gym environment. Uh, but um, but uh, yeah, for now, the solution is just to reload the notebook um, on that. And if you load on, the, on your own computer, don't hesitate to open an issue if you know, there is a library that does not work, because we can uh, try to search together what's going on. Um, do you focus on for robotics with reinforcement learning and physical uh, simulation? So we're going to use PyBullet, which is a virtual uh, robotics uh, environment where you have multiple environments. But uh, this course is not will not use real ro robots. Um, but if uh, if you use uh, real robots and things like that, don't hesitate to to share me uh, what you've done because I'm, I'm interested in this topic. Uh, to be honest, I. I I just start to learn a little bit about robotics, real robotics. So I'm, I'm very beginner on that, but yeah, it's an interesting topic. Uh, the premise that especially with rendering and recording, uh, if you mean about the, the question of um, of uh, the library, uh, yeah, um, so normally if you run on Collab, everything should be fine. Uh, if you run on your own, uh, you need to verify that you have all the library installed. So some, most of the time, it's you need to install some video drivers. Uh, I know, for instance, if you use Ubuntu, uh, there is uh, additional library to install. Um, but don't hesitate to reach me uh, for this uh, this problem so that we can find a solution. Will we see the Mujoku environment during the course? Uh, since we're going to use uh, uh, PyBullet, uh, we're going to put on the additional resources Mujoku. For people who don't know, PyBullet was the open source version of Mujoku. Mujoku for a lot of, a long time was uh, very expensive, um, very expensive, expensive uh, library. Uh, 
Uh, no, it's they can define both it, so now you can use it uh, more, but it's, it, um, it's a proprietary uh, library. And we try to we try to avoid that kind of library, but we're going to put on the, because, you know, it's, it's not open source uh, per se, but we're going to put on the additional resources. But if you want to, to use PyBullet, most of the environment PyBullet has are quite the same, but the one from Mojoko. But we have uh, instance for this transformer, some of them were trying to use this transformer. So we will have um, some resources to, to, to learn to use Mojoko. Um, yes. Um, so yeah, except that um, uh, you can, yeah, you can, you can, um, uh, you can find me so on Twitter. So if you go to Simon Thomas, um, you can reach us on Discord. You can uh, find us on the course. Um, yeah, don't hesitate uh, when you have questions. Don't hesitate when you have ideas. Also, if you have like ideas, because you know we we can't have all the good ideas. So if you have nice ideas of things you want to do or or you want to collaborate or improve it, something, don't hesitate. Um, okay, we forget. And um, let me see. So yeah, a last thing I wanted to show you. Uh, yeah, we have. If you if you never use um, Discord, uh, we have um, we have a Discord one on one here, uh, where you can you know learn uh, how it works. You know because sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming when you just started Discord. So uh, this way you will know you know what channel you need to to to, to check etc. Um, so don't hesitate to check. It's on unit zero on the Discord section. Will the course provide enough information, opportunities to discover for master thesis? Can we create a reinforcement learning research group? So um, uh, you, uh, with this course, it goes from beginner, what we call beginner to expert. So it means at the end of this course, you have enough skills to be able to read papers, a uh, research paper on reinforcement learning. The course is, um, is the idea is that it's uh, not a research focused course, but uh, if you're interested, you can, I'm pretty sure there is a lot of people on this course who also want to do some research and reinforcement learning. In addition to that, uh, we have at Hugging Face, um, um, we have at Hugging Face we, a team of reinforcement learning researchers. And so we're going to start to publish uh, some blog posts about Paper Explain, etc., on our blog. Uh, so we are, we, the, these people are also on Discord, so don't hesitate to, to reach us. Uh, but uh, if you're interested yeah, in reinforcement learning research, uh, my advice is uh, to check on our Discord and discuss with people about the fact that you want to do that or you're currently doing that. And also, uh, the second place I would say is obviously the reinforcement learning subreddit. Um, yeah, I forgot, sorry, I forgot to show the question, uh, which was, you know, if we, if we have enough information, opportunities to discover to become master of disease. Um, always, we always put additional resources, so it's it's up to you. You know, if you want just you know to to learn the basis, or if you always go to want to go deeper, but we provide uh, the best resources. And if you have additional resources, by the way, that we, you want us to add to the course, again, not hesitate to reach us or to open um, uh, GitHub uh, yeah, pull request. Um, yeah, let me go back. I wanted to show you yes to the Discord. Um, and let me see. So yeah, as I said, next week we have uh, Q learning. The week after we have deep learning. We are going to have a, a small break during December twenty fifth, uh, twenty fifth, <laughs> January the first. Um, uh, you know, because it's holiday, uh, holiday season. But I, I will be on the Discord. We will be here. We will be reachable. Um, yeah. And um, if I can, uh, before ending this live, because it's, yeah, time, time flies. Um, if I have one advice to give you, uh, it will be um, uh, don't hesitate to work in group. Don't hesitate uh, to ask questions when you learn. And most importantly, and it's very, for me, the most important is we provide you hands on, but don't hesitate to do more for you. You know, it's for you. Don't hesitate, like, for instance, to, to be curious, you know, to, to think like, okay, I train with Lina Lander, what, what other environment varies on the JIP documentation? So you go to the JIP documentation, you find 
I don't know, mountain car, you find, uh, you know, uh, carpool, etc. And so try to try to read the documentation, try to understand, you know, uh, what the state space is, what the action space is, and just try, you know, to train with your with your with your PPO model or any other any other architecture. Just try, you know, you, you will never break something. And I think the best way to learn, because you know, if you just wait, you know, the ends on, you will learn something. But I think it's it's not enough. You know, you you will need to be curious and and just try some environment. Plus, there is you no know, a lot, especially recently, uh, because for a long time in reinforcement learning there was. Um, there was gym, there was Zoom, there was um, that kind of environment, hyperlet, Mitoko, but there was not a lot of, you know, um, funny environment. Now we see more and more, for instance, with Minecraft, we see um, we see recently with Gridly, we see uh, ML agents. So, you know, it's a very nice uh, moment to start uh, to see deep, deep reinforcement learning. But, um, so yeah, my advice, uh, have fun. <laughs> obviously because it's easier to learn when you have fun but uh yeah do uh, do, do 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 more things you know try things try not to stay to ask on, on on you know study groups like hey i'm doing that do you have some advice or or don't you think also and uh, something we really love is don't you stay to share what you've done uh to share with us to share on twitter not to stay to tag us on twitter uh, to share on linkedin to share on the discord or wherever you want to share it so that you know we can see what you've done and uh yeah don't hesitate to ask people if they want to work together on on training you know an, an environment that is not on the course or even no on the course and um and uh yeah Thanks. And yeah, we really, we really hope you you'll enjoy the course. And again, if you have feedback, positive or negative, don't, don't stay to tell us because um, this course is a lot of work for us. But it's 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 so amazing, you know. It's it's really it's really nice. So don't hesitate when even if it's only you know a positive one, but also if it's something we need to improve. Uh, we really want that this course to be the best experience for you uh, to learn deep reinforcement learning. Uh, I think we run off out, out of time. Uh, yeah, it was a great pleasure. Um, so again, as I mentioned, next week we are going to have. Uh, so I'm going to check where we can have the, the live, the live number two of, of, of the same live. But this time we're not uh, present. Uh, we're not present. The, um, the course is already done, but we're going to have a Q and A, some exchange, and some nice stuff. And. Um, but also, I also mentioned that next week on Tuesday, normally, so we're going to give you the information by mail and by Discord. We're going to have um, um, a presentation by Nathan, which is one of the reinforcement learning researchers in face about the technology behind ChatGPT, uh, which is reinforcement learning. So reinforcement learning is starting again to to be something very, very, very trending, which is amazing. And uh, yeah, this is the right moment to start deep reinforcement learning uh yeah i thank you all and yeah i wish you a good day and uh yeah i see you on the discord bye